His name is Jesus. He is revival. And he's here right now in this place. He's in our midst where two or three are gathered in his name. He said, I am in the midst of you. So revival is here even now. Revival is here even now. Spirit of revival, fall upon us, God, because it starts with us. We want to be carriers of revival, taking revival into the streets, into the dead, dumb churches, into the highways and byways, into the darkest nations of the earth. God, we want to carry revival, be messengers of revival. So we prophesy revival in Iran. We prophesy revival in Saudi Arabia. We prophesy revival in Tajikistan. We prophesy revival in Bolivia. We prophesy revival in Venezuela. We prophesy revival in the United States of America. We prophesy revival in Canada. We prophesy revival in Chile. We prophesy revival in Cuba. Oh, the nations are but a drop in the bucket. Lord, we ask you tonight. You said, ask of me, and I'll give you the nations as your inheritance. God, we're asking for the nations. We're asking for the souls. We're asking for the nations. We're asking for the souls. God, break in with light into Muslim nations. Break in with light into Hindu nations. Break in with light into Buddhist nations. God, break in with the light of the gospel. Let your word run swiftly. Oh, let your word run swiftly, God, penetrating the hardest hearts with the truth that sets them free, God. You said, ask of me, and I'll give you the nations, so give us the nations, God. Give us China, God. Give us Russia, God. Give us Ukraine, God. Give us the nations. God, give us the souls. We will not be satisfied. We are on a seek and save mission through intercession. We are on a seek and save mission through intercession. We are on a seek and save mission through intercession. Our intercession makes a way out of no way. And intercession moves the hand that moves the world. Our intercession moves you, God, to act, to perform signs and wonders and miracles that prove that Jesus was alive. I thank you, Lord. When you came back, when you rose up, you visited the church for 40 days. You talked to them about the kingdom. And the Bible says you did many things to prove that you were alive. God put that burden on the church to prove that Jesus is alive. Not just with apologetics, not just with words, but with power. Not with eloquence or even theology, but with a raw demonstration of the one true God the Christ who was raised from the grave. Jesus, help us, Lord, to be a people who will demonstrate, who will go out and stretch our hands forth to heal. Help us be a people, Lord, who believes that signs follow us wherever we go. Help us, Lord, to be a people who believe to raise the dead. Help us, Lord, to be a people who believe that we can lay hands on the sick and see them recover to cast out demons and speak with new tongues to cleanse the lepers, God. Send us forth. God, oh, with power. Send us forth, God, oh, with might. Send us forth, God, with the courage to lay hands. Oh, Jesus, to cast the devil out. Oh, God, help us, Lord. We want to prove that Jesus is alive. We don't want to offer the world a dead religion. We don't want to offer the world liturgy. We don't want to offer the world a form of godliness that denies the power thereof. We turn away from a powerless gospel who's not a gospel at all. We turn away from forms of religion even now. We turn away from those things that hinder the advancement of the gospel, misrepresenting Jesus as a baby in a manger, misrepresenting Jesus as a dead man on a cross. I thank you, Lord. You're not a dead man on a cross. You got up. 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 Light of the tribe of Judah. 